YouTube Shorts are a great way of promoting your channel to a wider audience. Let me show you why that is with some real world examples and how you can create your own shorts based on already existing videos in a matter of minutes using Adobe Premiere Pro. Enjoy! In the YouTube app, if you scroll down a bit on your home screen or in the related videos section of the video you're currently watching, you will see this shelf I believe that's what it's called, titled Stories and Short Videos. As a small YouTuber, stories are out of the question as you need at least 10,000 subscribers to unlock that feature. But short videos, or shorts as YouTube calls them, are available to anyone, including you and me. Shorts and stories are YouTube's response to TikTok and it's fair to say that YouTube is pushing them rather hard. For a small channel, shorts are an excellent way of self-promotion. As an experiment, I converted two of my existing videos into shorts, and the shorts have way more views than their longer counterparts. So far, the two shorts have also each attracted one subscriber. That doesn't sound impressive at all, but considering I only spent a few minutes on creating them, it's totally worth it. I couldn't tell you how many of the viewers went on from the short to check out the full length video and then subscribe. But there is, of course, a chance that at least a few did do exactly that. If you take a quick look at the analytics of my two shorts, you will also see that most views do indeed come from the shelf I mentioned earlier. So we're in agreement that shorts currently are a very good thing for your small YouTube channel. Let's quickly go over what makes a short video before I show you how I edit them. Shorts are vertical videos up to 60 seconds in length. To help YouTube identify the video, you can add hashtag shorts in the title or the description. Though at this moment that doesn't appear to be totally necessary. It can't harm your chances of getting featured though. And that's all you have to know. With that in mind, we can now move on to Premiere Pro. What you're seeing here is the main timeline of one of my recent videos. The first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the sequence and rename it to Shorts. That way I'm sure that I'm editing the right sequence. Next, I'll open up the sequence and pick the part or parts I want in my short video and delete everything else. And with a little bit of Premiere Pro magic, we can have this sequence converted from a proper aspect ratio to a vertical video, and it will even track my face. Right click on the sequence and select auto reframe sequence. Then select vertical 9 by 16 as the aspect ratio and leave motion tracking set to default. Click on create and wait for Premiere Pro to do its thing. As this short video is a teaser for a full length video, I'll also add a few lines of text enticing viewers to visit my channel. To make it look nice, I've just done some basic animation and added a bit of motion blur using the transform effect. When uploading the video, there is one important option I like to disable for short videos, and that is the option to publish the video to the subscription feed. I don't think that those who are already subscribed to my channel will be all too interested in these short videos, especially if I start to upload them more frequently. And that's literally all there is to it. With just a few minutes worth of work, you have the chance to gain loads of views and potentially new subscribers. Do it now because at some point the novelty will have worn off or, you know, Google might ditch them as they have done with so many other products. If this video did teach you anything, please hit that like button to show your appreciation and also consider subscribing. Right, that's been enough from me for one day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.